about coming out here and supporting an awesome uh, event by Warner Brothers? Well, I think it's important that uh, people have an opportunity over the next three years to come to this museum, the Paley Museum, and get, a, uh, get the insight into the history of television. That's always here. But to involve Warner Brothers and, and their, their wardrobe setups, their property departments, their films, you know, I think it's going to be quite something. And, you know, it's not that we owe it to the viewers. The viewers have an opportunity now to see what it was like back when. It's true. Now, they're honoring 60 years of television. If I made you a Warner Brother exec right now, which show would you choose to be rebooted right now? Kojak. Wow, you didn't even think about that. Because I did it for five years. <laughs> <laughs> he wants another job. <laughs> yeah, bring it back. You know, and they always loved Crocker, and that's the character I played. But, the, but working with Telly Sabalos and doing Kojak at the time, the cop show of the 70s, yeah. I mean, that took off. The ratings were through the roof constantly. We're on for five years. They moved this every year to a different night because of the, because of the draw that it had. And it was working. It, you know what happened with that show? It was that a character actor became a leading man yeah, with true. Telly Savalas. And that whole group, you know, that was just great. So it opened the doors to a lot of things. What would be one of your favorite moments from Kojak? I mean, it's, it was epic. One of the favorite moments was uh, early on in the beginning of the beginning of uh, shooting, we were going into a warehouse getting the bad guys. Yeah. So I was very athletic and still remain that way. So we did one, we did a rehearsal before the shoot and I go in, I bust through the doors, and I'm first in. All right, now we're getting ready to shoot, and I get this tap on my shoulder. I said, yeah, tell it. He says, I go first. <laughs> that would, that's it, man. So for five years, I was one step to the right and one to the rear. Okay, there you go. It was, it was planned, though. That's the way. got to be. You know, you got to know where you belong and how to make it work. One of, our, uh, one of the fans that are asking everyone is, is, do you have a guilty pleasure television show? A guilt pleasure yeah, television guilty show? Pleasure. Something that like, you wouldn't really want to know, wouldn't want to tell or be proud that you watch, but you love it. Uh, nah, uh, uh, Homeland. I mean, but, th but that's, a, that's a terrific show. I like the Thorns. I like the, the Thrones and the, the Borgias. Uh, but a secret show that I watch, you know, Cartoon Network, you know, you know or ESPN. <laughs> ESPN's awesome, though. That's not, that's not really a guilty pleasure. <laughs> now, are you still keeping in shape? Are you still, uh, are you still going at it? I don't have to do wind sprints anymore, so I play golf. From how's, time to time. how's your game? I'm in the mid-teens. You know, I can tee it up. What do you I think of Bubba? Outrageous. You know, one of the guys got through. Right. So now he's got to back it up for the couple, and then he's uh, then he's set. Did you see him on Letterman? Did you see his interview on Letterman? Yeah, I thought that was terrific. <laughs> you know, good old boy. You know, he's one of the guys getting up. All right, let's go have a beer. You know. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm Kevin Dobson, and come and enjoy this exhibit.